In this video, I will give you three reasons why I think that Fundrise as a company will be going public sooner than you think. I know a lot of us are holding Fundrise Internet Public Offering shares. Now, if you're not familiar what a Fundrise Internet Public Offering or IPO for short is, please check out the video down in the description below and up here so you can familiarize yourself with this once in a lifetime opportunity for you and me to get into a private company before it becomes publicly traded to the masses. Now, these shares are completely worthless unless the company goes public sometime in the future. But can this be sooner than you think? Coming up. If you're new to the channel, my name is Trey and I'm a real estate stock and crypto investor. I'm also a swing trader. If you enjoyed this video and found this helpful, please click that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. So the first thing is the fact that a few months ago, Fundrise announced that they're reducing the amount of money you need to open an account with them from $500 to just $10. Before, there was no such thing as a starter portfolio. So as you can see over here, account level starter and minimum investment amount is just $10. After all, Fundrise has been around for about 10 years and they haven't changed this $500 minimum that you needed to have to invest in the platform for over 10 years. So what has changed? Why out of nowhere are they changing it to $10? Well, the answer is very, very simple. They want to attract more and more people to their platform. With the $500 minimum, it limits how many people can actually invest in the platform. It kind of scares off more newer investors that are not familiar with real estate investing, crowdfunding, or anything like that. When they see a $500 minimum, a lot of people will just close the link and will not invest with that platform because for most people, $500 is a lot of money to commit to something that they're not familiar with and, with, and, and something they're not sure with. So while lowering that barrier to $10, let's allow lot of newer investors to put $10 uh, to invest with Fundrise and not being scared of losing $500. Uh, instead, they could put $10 and if something uh, goes wrong, they only lose $10 and, it, and it, it's not scary to most people. So what it does is it lowers the barrier to entry for a lot of newer investors. Uh, with Fundrise. And what does that do? That increases the number of users and investors that will be coming to Fundrise and will be investing through Fundrise platform in crowdfunding real estate. And that's a great thing because when companies do go public, a lot of questions are asked. And one of them, and one of the most common questions that are asked is how many users do you have on your platform or how many investors do you have on your platform so by lowering that barrier from five hundred dollars to ten dollars and starting something called a starter portfolio fundrise is effectively increasing the number of users that will be investing with fundrise therefore i think that is the first hint that the fundrise ipo will be going public in the very near future Okay, now the second thing is actually the news that came out maybe a few weeks ago. And that news is that Fundrise starting October 1st, 2021 have changed their with early withdrawal penalty. So uh, I've actually have a video about this. So please check it out in the description down below and up here if you want more details on the changes that are taking place on October 1st, 2021. But essentially the summary of it is that Fundrise is lowering the penalty to 1% across the board for early withdrawals from the platform. 
A withdrawal is considered early if you try to sell your shares prior to holding them for five years or more. So the previous policy prior to this change was actually a ladder system. So the longer you held your shares, the lower the penalty would be. So it would start from anywhere. If you held it from about 90 days, I think to three years, it would be 3%. And if you held it for four years, it would be 1%. Now, why would Fundrise, again, after over 10 years of existing and doing business a certain way, change it out of nowhere? Well, a lot of criticism that Fundrise has faced and what uh, and what turned off a lot of investors from actually putting money into Fundrise is this penalties. Anywhere from 1% to 3% penalty is a little steep for a lot of investors. A lot of investors want to try out the platform, maybe hold a few shares of these e-reads or e-funds for maybe a month or two months, see how the returns are and sell them. However, if they were to do this prior to this change, they would get charged 3% penalty. This new policy lowers that penalty to 1% um, and this will attract a lot of investors that were previously criticizing Fundrise for having too much of a penalty fee um, so now people can try out fundrise and they will only be risking one percent of their profit um, at a time instead of three percent so again together with lowering that uh, entry barrier from five hundred dollars to ten dollars and as well as lowering the fees fundrise as a platform becomes more accessible to many newer investors and as well as experienced investors who thought that the fees or the entry price was a little bit too high to start out um, so this these are great changes and again this is the second reason why I think that fundrise IPO will be going public soon and the final and third reason why I think that fundrise IPO is going public soon is because a few months ago uh, they started offering retirement accounts so now you're able to transfer your existing retirement account such as 401k or any other IRA to fundrise and invest in crowdfunding real estate through either Roth IRA or traditional IRA. So what this does is that it actually allows people who are thinking long term, I'm talking 20, 30, 40 years down the line when they retire, instead of investing with these bigger known companies such as Charles Schwab or Fidelity or anything like that, maybe they want to diversify into getting into crowdfunding real estate, but they uh, maybe they're not investors or traders, but they're literally just want to have one retirement retirement account and they know that they're not going to be able to access it until they're 59 and a half years old and they're okay with it and they just want to diversify a little bit. So this announcement actually attracts a type of people, a low time preference people that want to invest certain amount of money and then forget about it for 20, 30 or 40 years and then come back to the riches that it will be in 40 years. So this announcement is also very big. So as you can see, these three announcements that I talked about all attract different types of investors and individuals a lot of it is targeted towards the beginner investors and more newer investors by lowering the entry barrier from five hundred dollars to ten dollars and lowering the penalties and as well as attracting a more uh, long-term thinking investors by letting you invest with fundrise uh, with an IRA account. So whenever Fundrise becomes a publicly traded company, it will reward all of those early investors of Fundrise IPO. So if you've been offered the shares of Fundrise internet public offering, but have decided to stay away from it, I believe that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to get into something early on that by the time it becomes public and the shares become available to the world, you will be already holding shares at a great, great discount. I'm talking you will be able to triple, quadruple, 5x and 6x your money if um, if Fundrise uh, you know, keeps doing things that they're doing now, keep becoming successful, profitable company. Uh, and keep offering these Fundrise IPOs to their early shareholders. Now, as for the date that I think that Fundrise will go public, well, my guesstimate is September 16th, 2023. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click that like and subscribe button. I'll greatly appreciate it. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.